Welcome back, everyone. We are gaming by Gaslight, going in for part two of our uh, little demo run through of Hidden Deep. Had some uh, fun times getting horribly murdered last time, and let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. At least, you know, maybe avoid dying at least a little bit. Ah, right, no power. And that's our whole mission this time around, isn't it? Well, down we go into the depths. How many guns do we have? And by that, I mean, you know, we have a sufficient number of bullets to... Whee! Oh god. Oh god. Oh dear. You know what? That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Can't do a full-on sprint. Beautiful. All right. Jolly good. Darn monsters. And I have no code, so we'll just, uh... How do I get out of there? Just escape. Found in staff logs ass uh, ac uh, blah, access from system terminals. Are you a system terminal? You are. Door control? Let's look at the log first. Mark Guttenberg. Situation is critical. Contamination in area D219 is out of control. We have to blast the entry tunnel to cut it off permanently. Operation will start uh, on 1530 today. Shaft 03 will be temporarily unaccessible. Regards, Mark Guttenberg. And Eric Holloway. Hi. Secret. Heh <laughs> heh. Door code to elevator control room is 5288. I only want to remind that Mr. Cogwell who found it so funny to turn off the elevator with five men inside isn't with us anymore. Bye. 5288. Oh, what have I done? Okay, that uh, that went nicely. Alright, let's try this again. I, I don't know exactly how I screwed up, but I did. Uh, door control, contact supervisor. Gotcha. I want to hit Q for some reason to quit. I think it's because of uh, some stuff I've been doing in my personal time. 5288, still the same. Yeah, personally, personally I think uh, Q, E for confirm, Q to quit, that would be great. So that's just my opinion, man. My opinion's not always right. Geronimo! I mean, yeah, we could go down the elevator, but why go down the elevator when I could instead... Let's uh, maybe turn that off, shall we? Or not. Do I kill the bug now? I do. And again, I could take the elevator. That's not half as badass as... Oh god. Get... Well. We're down to only 20% health, so that's, uh... That's always a good sign. No, don't jump off- don't drop off the ceiling, please. That feels like something I could maybe... Don't have the terrain scanner. Of course I don't. That would have made my life too easy. There we go, that's the good stuff. Doesn't that look like, uh, I could break? Maybe a monster's gonna come through at some point. Hey, there we go. Of course, now I have to jump over this. Or... Because, you know, we're always playing as characters who are skipping leg day here. And we can't jump over, or at least I can't. I shouldn't, uh... You know, impugn on the game's honor when I, uh... It's me, really. I'm the one... I, I feel like something's gonna come through the wall, you know? It, it, this feels like one of those things, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, sure, you survived that fall. Just no winning. But then again, I guess that's the case, isn't it? No one ever gets out of life alive. 
or something like that. A lot of growth going on, which, again, reminds me just a little bit of carry-on. And not in a bad way. So, that is intriguing. It's always the eldritch monstrosities, isn't it? Right. Let's open up the little elevator. And as usual, we'll pull back a little bit, just in case there's something waiting inside the damn thing. Go up. Before we, before we go down, we shall go up. I cannot go up. There is no more up to be had. And there's just a solid wall over there, so we can't get to the crane room. So it's down to the belly of the beast. Okay, let's see, what are we, oh, that rumbling, that's like, that's gotta be, that's gotta be some old one waking up. Now, the dangerous part of shooting, but you never know when you're gonna draw attention. Why'd you gotta go and do something like that, Gaslight? Whee! Oh god. Oh no, no, no. It's too late! <laughs> Good job. Ah! Okay, I really shouldn't panic shoot. I mean, yeah, I've got 110 bullets, but... Still, you never... You never really know. God, I hate the sound that things make. There we go. Get wrecked. All right, let me look up there and see what we're dealing with. That was mildly disappointing. <laughs> I'm doing this because I can, not because it's a good idea. Just, uh, just to be clear. All right, so that's our, uh, our ultimate objective, I believe. Yep. Where are we going, anyway? Terminal, shaft, shaft, elevator control. Do I know where I'm going? Find area D, D, D219, right. I do not have a key card for that. So that means the only way forward is down. Ah, don't die. Oh sure, now you put your legs out. <laughs> oh, here we are, D219. We've found it. Found it. We don't know why D219 has been cut off. We only know that it was 25 years ago. You need to dig through the wall of the tunnel boring machine. I'm sending two engineers, Paxton and Hicks, down to you. They will do the digging job. They should arrive soon. Okay. Do I get to play as, as them? Engineers have arrived by shaft two. They are under your command. Oh, baby. Head to the crane room where the machinery is located. Oh god, don't drop down the open hole. Which I totally almost did. Oh wait, actually the game wouldn't have let me make that horrible mistake. Uh, hmm. What am I doing again? Door controls, crane room. But the door is locked. Also, uh, I forget. I know you can make these guys follow you. What are the controls for that again? You did tell me. I, I've just forgot. <laughs> okay, I don't know. You know what? I'm sure it's not important anyway. I'm sure they'll figure it out on their own. Do do do. Don't fall down the hole. Hmm. Right. You know, to times like this, I can't help but feel like I might be some kind of idiot. <laughs> I mean, he did say to go to the crane room. I just don't know how to access the crane room. Maybe I should just wander around for a bit instead of uh, risking us filling up a bunch of dead airtime here. That's like a, that's a smart idea. Oh, yeah, I am an idiot. I just had to go to the door control. Just that easy. 
What a dummy. Oh well, it happens. Don't beat yourself up too much, little boy. All we need to do is, you know, go back down, make sure our engineers are out of the way, grab a... a thing. Do things with. We'll send number two up there. Paxton. Or he'll be fine. Maybe I should send Hicks as well. But, you know, we'll... We'll see. I'll take as much time as I need, I guess. Just bumbling my way around foolishly like. Alright. Transport platform behind the pit can carry machines. Use the crane to lift and move the platform. Only engineers can operate cranes. That makes a certain amount of sense for sure. Oh god. Does he have a gun? Thank goodness. Ooh, mercy. Oh man, this guy does not have steady hands. Okay. There you go, hop on in, my boyo. Alright, I'm starting to see how this is supposed to work. Oh god, why? Good job. <laughs> Masterfully done. Yeah, this... Well, at least I... At least I brought the crane to the, you know, right side first. Oh yeah, I probably need to... Yeah. This would've been much easier if I had uh, brought the other guy, Hicks. Oh well, who needs him? Okay, so I can put this up here. Oh, if I had an ever guy, I could, like, dig that out. Maybe there's secrets doing that. Open claw? Close claw. Just like there might be secrety stuff if I were to whoop, go up there. Oh. Oh, easy does it now. Easy does it. As you can tell, I clearly operate cranes for a living never seen a better crane operator than me. Alright, we'll get, uh, get old Hicks in here. Because surely nothing can go wrong from doing this. Oh lord. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> you didn't drop it! Okay. Let's start boring. Oh yeah, baby. And then we'll just bail out. Probably don't want to go too much farther without the rest of the crew. That's just, you know, smart. Not that I am necessarily smart, mind you. You know what, let's, let's leave that down there for now. And we'll send our boy, uh, Murphy down. And you know what, maybe we'll keep, uh, Paxton up top. Because then he can operate the crane and get us the hell out of there quickly, like. I don't know why I thought I couldn't just walk through that. That button's broken. You hear that? Not something you like to hear when you're on your way down. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe I want to bring this up, because we might need our engineer buddy. There's no power, of course not. Alright. Doodly doo do. Actually. I think there's like a smudge on my screen that I keep thinking is a ghost. <laughs> oh, I might need an engineer in order to manage that. Probably safe to bring the power online first. Better to explore with the guy who is meant to explore. Of course, we only have scouts and engineers. We have no soldiers so far. Is there anything alive up here? Feels like there could be something alive at any moment, doesn't it? Geronimo! God, I love this game. Even though I have demonstrated a general... Oh yeah, there's no power. Alright. Oh, oh, you know how I do this? I I set up a little uh, line thingy 
so that our engineer boy can come on down with us. That, that seems reasonable. We'll just step back, and we'll just buckle it on in. There we go. Or we could just drill through everything, that might work. I mean, that is something I'm allowed to do, isn't it? Maybe. Alright, let's see if this works, or if I am about to get us killed. Oh, it got us killed. Twelve lives left to live. Oh, you brought me all the way back up there. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Fortunately, I can get you back down there easily enough. He said before immediately getting killed. <laughs> Alright, watch this, baby. Yeah. Gaslight knows how to handle it his, uh, engines. Unless... You know, a thought just occurred to me here. Mayhaps there is something up here that would help us turn the power on down there. I mean, I could just descend with our scout. But, uh, where's the fun in that? I was just say, is it getting louder in here, or is it just me? Alright, what's happening over here? Currently, there's no more living... Okay, that's just a closed door. Nothing, nothing to see here, folks. But it was worth a try. So I think I'm gonna... Maybe, uh... Just fiddle and fuddle around here, and I'll catch up with you once I've, uh... <laughs> once I've done something meaningful with our time. Actually, you know what, Let, let's maybe, uh, send, uh... Send one of our balls out before we go. You now, just, uh, scout the way. Minimize the risk of, uh, danger. Can I actually get my ball back if I bring it home? Don't run out of power. Almost, almost home. Almost home, Bolly. Can you just pick it up? Recharge it? That is not a thing you're allowed to do, unfortunately. In the future, though. Alright, so we have only four balls left, so, you know. Probably a good idea to be careful. Where are your legs? Oh, mercy me. This guy really, really has got to stop skipping leg day. Alright, off to the data storage. And by dot, I mean data. Data, data. Same difference. Oh dear. I've got 124 bullets, I'm not worried. Having said that... Oh yeah, I should probably put this away. Alright, let's, let's do this. Can I make the first jump ever? I did it. <laughs> Let, use the scan ball to electrocute small nearby enemies. Hold left mouse to attack targets. However, it consumes more scan ball energy. Cool. Need a crank. Don't we all? Alright. Scan balls away! Boink. Oh yeah, I can probably... Oop, easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. 100% sure how I even tell when I'm out of scan ball energy, to be honest with you, but it's okay. All right. Okay, there's radiation in there and a tree of life sort of situation. All right. Oh, shoot. Get up. Get up. How am I doing? As far as I know, there's no way to really heal, is there? Oh, I can see you. Yeah, wormy boy. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, hello. There we are. There's our crank. Crank. Oh, what's this do? Searching, searching, searching. The rack is empty. But at least there was a rack. Got a bad feeling about this. 
Oh, we've still got 12 lives left to live, so that's good. What is that, a giant sea worm? Oh dear. Where did you come from? There we go. Is there anyone else alive down here? Really interested in the significance of that. All right, so we got our crank, so let's get back up here. Hopefully there's no monsters waiting for us. Stupid monsters. Yep. Whee! Okay, there we go. So far, so good. We've only lost a few people, mostly due to ineptitude on my part, so you can't really just keep cranking it. There we go. Guns out. Oh, nice. Oh. Never put your gun away until you know the enemy's down for good. The uh, smart thing to do. Oh. You're gonna trust. Oh, dear. I, I should stop trying to get a real hot shot there running and gunning when I'm clearly not. Also, I should probably reload. But just... <laughs> yeah, if only... Oh, boy. Only got the one bullet left. Oh, jeez. That was stupid. But we survived, so that's all that matters. Alright. Just a lot of slugs. Not too bad. Looks like something I can drill through. I keep seeing those things in the wall, and I keep thinking we're going to have, like, a moment where... Something's gonna come through and... Yeah. Anything cool on the rack? Nope, it's all empty. Just a red hit- oh! Nope, we got the data disk. Alright. Now go back and head to shaft 4 on the right. We have another task. I mean, doesn't it feel like a, a giant worm monster and we could have a big dramatic chase scene here? Reason why you're not picking up the bullets? There you go just feels like it's gonna happen. Oh, I also like how we, like the longer we run, I just noticed, but the longer we run, we sort of pick up speed towards the end there. Now where is shaft four? Oh god! Run, run. There's a slug. Again, gaslight, maybe uh, be a bit smarter about your ammo usage. But we still haven't... You know, I can, I can run over that. Just give it a nice running leap. But doing. Oh, come on, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to live my life here. There we go. I, you know, we've got enough bullets. I don't think I want to waste ammo on that. Okay, well, once more, jolly good. I think I've already forgot where I'm going. Where's shaft four? Well, four is that way. Shaft three, shaft four. Okay. There we are, let no... I still feel like if I bring an engineer down here somehow that was that was absolute genius seriously best best strategy I ever had right there anyway we are probably gonna be all day about this I wonder now, if I drive it down, it's totally just gonna trash the thing, isn't it? Can I turn the boring machine around the other way? Is that a, uh, a thing we can do? Doesn't feel likely. But anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure we bring this back up. Okay, jolly good. Oop. There we are. Oh, wait. Was this already opened? Was it open for us? 
That'd be real handy. Oh, Jesus. No, that wasn't a... That... Oh, no. Cannot complete the mission of foot machines. Machines will be restored at the cost of... Oh. Well, that kind of sucked, but... I brought it on myself, so I... I really can't be that angry. I mean, I could, but... What good is that? I'll get us, uh... I'll get us back on track again. Alright, free 212 is what I saw for the door code. Oop. Get out, get out of there, you. This is incredibly dangerous. That's not OSHA compliant right there. Just, uh, in case you were wondering. Definitely not OSHA compliant. Alright, so that code again was 3212. Okie dokie. You know, probably a good idea. I don't know if we're really going to need this yet, but then again, having a giant uh, honking piece of machinery doesn't necessarily seem like the worst uh, thing. You're not going to run him over, are you? Thank you. I've been really mad about that. Can't go up. Can only go down. All right. Also, while we were away, I decided to drill open a hole in the the elevator shaft, you know, back up top. So I figure the game wouldn't let us do that if there wasn't a reason for doing that. Just like maybe too close to the digging target. Okay, can't dig. I wish I could turn that around. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're up against here. We've only got free balls left. Oh, that's actually it. <laughs> okay. Mission complete. Took me half an hour and four deaths, but yay. Damn, I'm good. All right. Thank you for playing the demo. Don't miss the full release. 50 levels of a long, dark sci-fi story. Many more monsters. Many more machines. Co-op, which would be great if I had friends to play with. <laughs> Seriously, though. Much more of everything. Wish list hidden deep on Steam. Oh, I could have been playing this with my controller the whole time, apparently. You know what? Sure, we'll, we'll wish list this so we remember it, but I'll do that on my own time. For now, however, I would just like to say, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below or let me know what you're thinking. I'll see all you in the next video.